Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Not date or time specific. Whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it may be your message at that time. But we do begin Mercury retrograde tomorrow on the 9th. That's, I'm recording it on the 8th. So, um, and the next day is the full moon in Pisces. So we do have some energies that may find their way into the reading. That's why I like to let you know. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the reading. You will consider joining us here by subscribing. And for those who are returning, thank you so much. Sorry for the weird lighting. It is very gray out. I have all the blinds open and it looked like a dark cave in here. So um, all the artificial light is wonky, but it's the best I can do under the circumstances. Okay, pulling from Sacred Traveler. Hmm, journey by moonlight, unknown territory, and embracing enthusiasm. Okay, so A, believe in magic. Trust that you're exactly where you need to be, even if it's kind of in the unknown. And um, embrace some enthusiasm. Yeah. Don't worry, be happy. <clears throat> Definitely uh, the Journey by Moonlight card feels about right, being that we are uh, already in the energy, as I record this, of the Pisces moon. We're in a void right now, um, but in a few short hours, we will have Pisces energy um, for the next couple of days. Let's see what's going on in your connection here, Scorpio. got whoa okay i'm just going to pull the cards and then i'll walk you through it nice So your divine counterpart, I'm saying this is your divine counterpart. This is a Scorpio energy. It can come through reversed. Don't worry about it, especially if you're a cross watcher. Person coming in here with the two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles is an energy of assessment. It's almost like, uh, I don't know. Let me just check and see what's going on um, before I take any action. So it's not forward move, moving. It's sort of a... Um, a timing card it's to me it's always when you're in that phase of you know trying to sort between your options um, it can be a little bit of torn feeling torn um, between options and the reason why I say that is because their present experience of the connection is the knight of pentacles so the knights take action and in this case this person is going to proceed very very intentionally, slowly, methodically, deliberately, likely with a plan, and they're probably trying to sort out the timing of that. In the future, we have the hanged man, which indicates that they may not, you know, they may kind of be waiting for some enlightenment. They may not take action. There may be a delay. Um, in the past, the nine of cups. I'll check that on. Um, clarifiers but it just is the way it's coming through is there's something this person has been trying to it's like there's some wish something that they've been trying to um, bring to fruition here and sometimes with the nine of pentacles though nine of pentacles my bad little distracted nine of cups there is this energy of complacency almost like well things are pretty good i don't want to upset the apple cart um so i've got a little bit of both being that i'm looking at the other energies of caution and uh, you know sort of trying to weigh the pros and cons and then a freeze here in this hanged man now interesting for you the five of pentacles came out reversed so moving out of a phase of instability um kind of coming back into your own your own energy of your own worth and value uh i'm seeing all this happiness here with your um, present energy around the connection looking for success maybe feeling more optimistic i like that and in the future we've got the queen of pentacles fully in your power kind of taking care of yourself first but there's 
a really good loving energy about the Queen of Pentacles because she's sort of the nurturer, caretaker. Um, it is an archetype, feminine archetype of a life partner, wife, mother, etc. So I kind of feel like you're starting to move out of an out of an unstable cycle. Yes, in the past Ten of Wands, something that you kind of offloaded with welcome relief and maybe feeling liberated by that now. So let's take a look with the clarifiers. I almost feel like I'm just going to say it because someone here is going to go in the comments and say, yep, bingo, that's it. I almost feel like this person, um, when push came to shove, they didn't do anything. They just stayed right where they were, um, somehow embraced the status quo, and that was the last straw. This is looking like the straw that broke the camel's back. And I'm sure that that happened at a point in time where it might have thrown you off and had you questioning how this person values you or doesn't value you, right? But whatever that was about, now you're coming through and I don't, you know, this is in that deck for a reason, um, in reverse, you're not questioning your value. You're not. Two of Pentacles with the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. All right, so this person is definitely conflicted and torn about whether or not to return. Their, um, their instinct, their impulse is to move quickly and impulsively and act on passion, but there's the strategist of the King of Swords underneath, and that's why I think their present experience of the connection is, I better move slow with a plan. I better not, you know, just act on impulse um, because that probably is what got them in trouble in the past. So they're being more strategic, more methodical and deliberate and intentional. I kind of think that's a good thing, especially if they sort of took something for granted in the past here with this Nine of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, they got complacent. Yep. And there is heartache around, surrounding, between the two of you, Six of Cups, Past Life Soulmate, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they, um, I don't think they answered your questions. I think you had a lot of them. So now I see a King and Queen of Swords. A good intellectual match, probably good communication skills between the two of you, um, or similar communication styles. But I get the feeling that you probably were like, what is going on here? And they didn't have an answer. And that's why things, things got um, released. That's the word I'm going to use. It's almost like that, you know, I'm just giving it over. I'm letting it go. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Wow. This person has an avoidant tendency. I think they're trying to correct it. I think they're trying to fix it. Um, they also have a habit of getting in their own way. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Because they're leading here with the Knight of Pentacles, which is how that energy is showing up with regard to their present experience of this connection, and the Eight of Pentacles on top of that. This is all good, grounded, earth, 3D-based, here and now energy of trying to work some th through something very deliberately. And I almost feel like this person is, if I could say what I'm hearing, which I, I'm not an auditory um, I'm not clear audience, but I'm feeling like I'm hearing, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I keep setting myself up? Why do I sabotage? Why do I ruin a good thing? Right? So there's two different energies here. The five of swords is coming in as sabotage and, um, you know, kind of setting oneself up. And then the seven of swords is, I got to get away. It's like, uh, yeah, I got to get out of Dodge. 
Like I can't deal. So because we have the nine of cups in the past with the three of swords and um, the connection there, I feel like they rested on their laurels. They sort of took things for granted. They didn't take an action that they needed to take. Now they're kind of feeling like, well, is the timing right for me to act? They're conflicted. They may be torn. Um, there may be some issues between you. Some hostility is even possible. And so they're thinking better of it. And at least they're strategizing. But they've got to work through their tendency to get in their own way and then to just run away. Seems like they're an MO. And then we've got the hanged man. Yeah. Their worry gets the better of them. Their anxiety gets the better of them. They're going to be waiting for a sign that it's safe to move about the cabin. Um, they do want to move beyond. This is in the future. They do want to move beyond the troubled waters, the turbulence, the whatever that five of wands is between you, their own patterns of avoidance and self-deception. And so they're going to hang out until they get the all clear because they're going to be super worried about it. And underneath this temperance, they will wait as long as it takes um, until they feel like they're definitely going to be well received. Because I think that's part of the problem. They are not sure how they will be received by you. So they're going to wait until they get a sign. They're in the planning stages, so that's good. But now they're working through their tendency to, to set themselves up um and to self-sabotage and avoid so a little more avoidance i i don't normally see the hanged man as avoidance but it's kind of coming through that way in this part of the reading just because of the other cards around it five of pentacles in reverse Yeah, and you're kind of persevering, waiting for good news, waiting for this person to reach out with some kind of message to kind of kick things up again. The Five of Pentacles in reverse is very, very good. The Nine of Wands, and I'm saying that because the Nine of Wands is like, if you have to push through, if you're hanging on, you have to do so from a position of stability where you feel grounded, where you feel like, I know what I'm worth. I don't have any questions about that. I'm just <laughs> kind of hanging on, waiting for them to get a clue and reach out. Uh, underneath is the Hierophant. This is about your higher self, being true to yourself. It is a card of commitment. It is around conventional committed relationship. But the way it's coming through is that's more on the back burner. You're just taking that sort of inner constitution. I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. This is Taurus energy, all second house, worth and value. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. So it feels like you're really in a good place here, Scorpio, or whoever you are if you're here as a cross watcher. Ten of, if you flipped it around, that's what I meant. Ten of Wands in the past with the Four of Swords. Yeah, I think you kind of let it all go. Um, sp spend some time in healing right in reflection sort of looking back on it all what was that about um i like the page of cups here because normally pages are messengers in this case i just think that there was some um i, I almost feel this is your empathy your empathy like you're getting stronger it's not your problem is their problem i can kind of see how this thing happens in real life right and when you finally get to that point where you're like, yeah, it, it really isn't me. <laughs> and I, I've, I've healed. I've been working on myself and my own self-worth and value, my own self-love even here with the Queen of Pentacles. And so, you know, I think you sort of let it go with some empathy and compassion because this is your beloved. This is a soulmate, twin flame, past life soulmate even with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. We definitely have twin energy. And I just feel like there was this moment of, well, yeah, good luck with that. I send you off with love, but I can't carry this anymore because um, it's really uh, shaking my confidence and my sense of self-worth, self-esteem even. 
So that's all been corrected. You're showing up here. Present experience of the connection is the sun. You're like, bring me happy days. Very optimistic. Yes. Ready and waiting to clear the air. As soon as this person takes the first step towards you, you will take 10 toward them. That is sort of how I feel about it. You are waiting. You're ready to take the leap. That Knight of Swords in there is about that energy of uh, feeling a sense of urgency to clear the air, to speak truth to power, but you're, you're positive about it. You're coming in very positive. There's no negativity here right now. There's no negativity up here with the two pages. I almost feel like you're kind of, you know, um, energetically sending a message like, just reach out, just reach out. You reach out, we'll be fine. But you know it has to come from them. And they know it has to come from them. They're just sort of a little unsure of how to proceed. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. And I'll just say that depending on how bad the uh, this Ten of Wands was, right? How bad this Three of Swords is directly proportionate to how long it's going to take them to figure out how to come back. So give that some thought. If it was just that they flaked out and you were kind of like, ain't nobody got time, I'm moving on, <laughs> you know, then it won't take as long. But if it was a big breakdown um, with lots of grief and arguments and drama, then it could take a while longer because this person seems to sort of be afraid of their shadow. Uh, yeah, Queen of Pentacles here with the moon, the Nine of Pentacles, and the star underneath. Um, you're keeping hope alive, though. That moon there between, first of all, you're just going to continue to do you. No matter. It's, it's like you're not waiting on this person. I think you are energetically sending them an invitation to reach out. Right? Just take that first step and we'll be good. But going forward, they've got the hanged man. So that's why I'm seeing you're like, hmm, right? I don't know what's going on. You can't kind of get a read on them. There's hidden feelings. There are hidden emotions. And so you just got to kind of soldier on on your own. And the star underneath is letting me know that you're still keeping hope alive, that the wish will be granted, that this person will reach out, that you'll have an opportunity to clear the air, um, or to at least um, speak your own truth, right? For some of you, it may just be about getting some form of closure. For others of you, it may be about, well, let's get this back on track. You are definitely embracing enthusiasm here, though. I love that for you. Um, and yeah, maybe it's a little bit of unknown territory. But as long as you continue to believe in magic, I think things will unfold in a positive way. That is what I've got for you for this part of the reading. So let me tell you the astrology of who showed up. But there is a link below to the extended and I'm going to pull the two of you together. We're looking at the relationship. Right now, I've just done you separately. Um, I'll get a message uh, for you from Spirit of the Universe with some guidance or advice, maybe a warning if that's necessary. Hidden energies. What is it that you can't see? Why is the moon showing up, right? What's going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, but you might want to? And then we'll look at your opportunities going forward in this connection. Here's who showed up. Knight of Wands is Sagittarian energy. King and Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I just kind of feel that's the way that you two have left things. That's just um, probably a little bit um, emotionally guarded and approaching each other a little bit more practically. At least you were. Uh, we have the Hanged Man is Pisces. Temperance is more Sag. Got a double hit of Sag here. Um, Taurus in the Hierophant. The sun is Leo, the um, fool is Aquarius, queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Virgo in the nine of pentacles, and more Aquarius there in the star. So interesting reading, interesting reading. I kind of feel it'll be interesting to see what comes through on the other side. The link's below. I'll see you there. Bye for now.